Hey guys, it's John with hookajohn.com here. Guess what? Today I am in St. Petersburg in this really not too lit up alleyway. It's beautiful out here. I'm just out here alone at night. I want to show you guys something that I came across. See that sign behind me right up there? What would that mean to you? Do you even see it? Is it up there? Actually, there's two. Here's one. Came across this thing and I wanted to see what is going on in there right above my head. What is that? All right, so I wanted to go in and I want to show you this place, okay? Check this out. Probably do some editing here and check out this door. Look at this place. I'm gonna back up so you get a better view of it. Check out, that's all it is. Right here where I showed you that sign and there's another sign, beautiful building out here. But then here it's kind of like caged off. You go down a few steps and it's like this. It's like this little doorway here. All right, so I'm gonna go in. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna show you guys the code. I figured out the code. I went online and I figured out that all you have to do is hit a code and get in here. So let's see if Huka John knows code. Yes, yes, instant access. Check that out. All right, so I wanna show you guys this place. All right, so before we turn around, I just wanna give you guys a little prelude as what I'm going to actually see here, what I'm going to envision. Check out this. This place is called Hookah Box. And guess who we have here? We have none other than Hookah Boss himself. Out in St. Petersburg. Hello, Hello Hookah Box, how are you? I Hookah Box, yeah. This is a beautiful place, is this your place? Yeah. Excellent. So I'm gonna turn this around and talk to you so we can all see each other. Hello everybody, Privet. Hello. Hello. All right. Beautiful place, is this, uh, is this a new place? Yeah. Nice to see you. All right. Uh, congratulations on this place. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. I've been walking through for the last 20 minutes and they set me up with a hookah. So I'm going to go ahead and take a walk, show you guys everything, and then I'll come back and speak with Hookah, box, uh, hookah Boss, uh, the owner of Hookah Box. All right. So let me walk around, show you guys a little bit. I'll be right back. Thank you. All right. Look how beautiful this place is. Look at the attention they have to detail, or just look at the details that they have. Nice couches. Look at the walls. Up here, they've got their sign. It reads hookah box, check that out. Excellent. I like the lighting. There's your kitchen right in the front. They got all sorts of hookahs and devices here. I'm gonna take this off of me and then go into shooting in here while I'm walking. Hopefully I don't bump into anyone. Just check out all the rooms here. Okay, they've got a little cage with a bunch of bowls. Okay, check out these. These look a little familiar. Some of these do. Excellent. You get everything represented from Tangier's bowls, Hookah John bowls, more Hookah John bowls, some bowls I don't even know what they are. Some other familiar US handmade bowls. And then we got everyone sitting around. Hey guys, how are you? Okay, look how beautiful this place is. And this place is just a great atmosphere. So tonight, uh, it's very casual. We're just, uh, it's like a pre-opening. They haven't decided, hey everybody, how's it going? Okay, they have not, they have not decided, they have not opened it yet to the public, but I want to show you some things here. And then check this out right here. Look at that. All right. There we go, check that out. I want you for HV Arby. Oh look, we got Wi-Fi access, Wi-Fi pass. Even uh, check out this on the on the wall. It's pretty nice ventilation zone. It's a nice brick. I don't know if it's real brick, done up or faux brick. Get a map of the world on it. You get another little tag. Hey, I got one of those. I don't know if it's a real one or a replica. Uh, check these out. Even the hallway back here is pretty cool. Everything's interesting. Everywhere they have. Something set up that's pretty cool. All right, change rules. That's where the rat goes after the cat. All right, excellent, excellent stuff here. I think it's just awesome here. I mean, everything here to the, to the bathrooms are awesome. I don't read Russian, but for our Russian friends, you'll be able to figure that out. Look at the door, the floorway, look at the sink. It's like a common sink area for the bathroom. Oh, there's Uka John. 
I mean, just check out the faucet here. That thing's pretty cool. I mean, I was in the bathroom earlier. Hope nobody's here in the WC. I mean, check that out. It's one of those old type of toilets. Isn't this like in Godfather when they hid the gun for Michael Corleone in one of those toilets? He said it's up there. It's got that old-fashioned pull handle one. But see, what you're pulling on here, you gotta be careful not to cut yourself. Nice knife. So anyways, beautiful place. What I'm gonna do now is go back and speak with uh, the man himself, Puka Boss. Guys, I just wanna show you a little bit more of this place and what I may have missed. There are all these pillows stacked around here. Like, check out that window. What does that mean to you? This is something that um, I just realized after after I stopped making the video and talking to Hookah Boss. But check it out, it's got that whole bunker feeling from, uh, I don't know, which war? World War II, maybe? That time, World War I? Traditional, old, older wars in the 20th century. All right, so check these out. Did I even get the 20th century right? Maybe even 18th century. But I think those are awesome. And then, uh, let's see what this says here. I don't know if you can make it out. Don't forget that your lunch and, oh, don't forget to eat your lunch and smoke hookah. All right, so excellent stuff here. Somebody can go ahead, oh, look at this, it's very cool. So I just wanna show you guys a couple more clips of the place. Not war, smoke hookah, very nice. And are you H-Box? Very good. So, check this out. Just show some of the tobaccos they have. Oh, you know what I didn't show them was the menu. I wanna show them the menu. I want to show this menu real quick and check this out. These are like little grenades. Hello. Okay. Check out these grenade-esque menus. That is pretty cool. So when you go here, you get to hear some of your prices and menus. You can start out at the uh, basic. Shows you there. I can't read. I don't have my glasses on. So hopefully, focus is in check. Get your classic hookahs there, and it's just cool. And then when you want to make an order, if they don't bring it in time, you just pull the pin and you throw it. All right, these are live grenades. All right, excellent. I'll be back and talk to you guys later. They don't move. Start. Okay. Here we are starting. Hookah boss. Excellent job on this place. I just showed everybody what it's like here, and good for you. Uh, there's a little issue here. Puka Boss doesn't speak English, and I know about one word of Russian, and I'm not going to show off and use that word right now. So, does anybody have a translator here? We've got a whole bunch of people here at the cameras. That's excellent seat. How about how about you, young lady? Would you like to translate for us? Look at that. Only in St. Petersburg, Russia, can we get such a beautiful translator for us. This is going to be more fun than I thought, guys. So, uh, first of all, I'm congratulating Puka Boss on his new Puka Box opening. I'm sure he says thank you, right? That's a, uh, what does it mean? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so, um, Puka Boss, how many lounges do you have now? It's the second one. First one is in San Diego. You've been there, and this is the second one. The first one is in Kevin Russia. Yeah, if I didn't bring that up before, uh, Luca Boss is one of the uh, creators of the Art Luca Lounge in San Diego. You've seen me there before, you guys all know the uh, creators down there. Luca Boss is one of the hookah artists who put together the menu and the way the hookahs are set up in there, and then he's also involved in some designs as well as the other team there. So, um, that's very good. Which neighborhood are we in, in St. Petersburg right now? Is there a name for this neighborhood? Мы находимся в самом центре нашего города. Это буквально через дом. Здесь находится Невский проспект. Это главная артерия нашего города. Excellent. So the location is great. If you're ever in St. Petersburg, come down and check it out. Tonight is a soft opening, right? Or maybe a private event because they're just opening it this week, right? And this week we also have the um, Hookah Club Show. Is that the name of the show? Hookah yeah. Club Show in St. Petersburg. So 
Uh, I wanted to stop by, say hello, and uh, congratulate Puka Boss on this. Okay. And um, anything you want to tell the viewers out there that are listening about your lab, about the feel, what made you make it? Мы находимся в самом центре Петербурга. Завтра также будет кальянная выставка. Очень интересная. Что бы ты хотел рассказать об этом лаунже? Об этом лаунже я скажу, что мы э, хотели открыть самое интересное, наверное, самое креативное место, самое креативное, наверное, кальяну, которое существует на данный момент не только в России, но и в мире. Мы очень долго шли к этому, где-то несколько лет мы разрабатывали этот дизайн, разрабатывали концепцию, искали место, искали дизайнера. Была проделана огромная работа, и сегодня я просто счастлив, что к нам пришли первые гости, и сегодня первый день нашего открытия, и... Это очень круто, что и даже в первый день нашего открытия ты, Джон, нас сегодня простил. Вообще, это очень забавно, потому что я тебя всегда встречал в Америке, и сегодня первый день открытия нашего лаунжа, и ты в первый день сегодня в России. Это and uh, we are so happy that uh, at the first day you are able to be here and it's really shocking. Yeah, it's really shocking. All right, so in case the audio isn't too good on this, I know we have some background music, what she was saying, what he was saying. It's a very creative place that they came up with. It's been a long road. Um, how long did it take to get about how many years to set this up? Нет, на самом деле, сама по себе стройка где-то длилась полгода, наверное, даже где-то 4-5 месяцев, но разработка шла где-то полтора-два года этого заведения. Okay, excellent. So they worked really hard with this. And I know that in San Diego they worked really hard to get the Art Vuka Lounge going. The Art Vuka Lounge in San Diego is probably one of my favorite uh, lounges in the world. I mean, I've only been to, I don't know, maybe 30 or 40 lounges across the US, and I love that lounge. This is completely different, but still has the same creative feel to it. This one maybe a little bit more. There's more like of a, uh, you get a sense of uh, bunker. You're down underground, right? You've got uh, some of the old, um, uh, uh, maybe wartime memorabilia. Some of uh, pictures that are maybe propaganda. Maybe I think it's propaganda because I'm American. Maybe it's normal for Russian people. So I love the feel here. Um, congratulations again, and uh, I look forward to spending uh, some time with you smoking a hookah. All right, thank you, hookah boss. Также я тебе хочу сказать, что я очень надеюсь, что тебе понравится у нас в стране. У нас действительно очень великая, большая страна. И я хочу, чтобы ты не забывал, что ты находишься в самом красивом городе на Земле. И я думаю, что а, завтра, когда уже наступит светло, и ты увидишь всю его красоту, и приедешь в Америку, и всем расскажешь о том, какая Россия, какой Санкт-Петербург. Yes, I just got in this evening. I barely saw anything. This is almost the first thing that I saw, and I'm very happy to just be here right now. So um, we're gonna go ahead and enjoy ourselves. If you are in St. Petersburg, Central District, right? Can you say Central yeah. District? It's called Hookah Box. All right, check it out. You need a code to get in, so you're gonna have to figure that out on your own. All right, guys. Thanks for everything. Bye bye. All right, bye.